three days ago and checked back to Kumasi yesterday and was at the crusade. And this morning she's here. <laughs> Mommy, you are welcome. God bless. Thank you, Reverend Tumzia. Daddy, good morning. Beloved in the Lord, we give glory to God who knows the end from the beginning and who has an agenda for his people. The Bible tells us that a day is coming when the glory of the Lord will so fill the earth that the earth will be filled with the glory of the Lord. And that day is nearing. And the Lord called those he thought would be willing to lead this church and found a man, a Caleb, who wants to win territories without thinking of age. And the Lord in his wisdom The Lord in his wisdom chose a very unusual period to raise this man. A period when churches were shut, when people were without hope, when people were terrified about something the world called COVID-19. This is the time the Lord raised his servant, and like a little mustard seed, planted him, starting with speaking to people about the hope that they should have in the Lord, about the time to really believe in the Lord. He sat in his room using new technology, and before he knew it, the Lord had taken him exactly where he wants him. A revival in our day. And then gave him this idea of a global crusade. Even as we sit here, other people are listening because the Lord is everywhere by his spirit. The Lord knows that he will not send Jesus Christ until there's a strong revival where all eyes would meet him. And those who are church leaders are the ones to raise the fervor of people to love the Lord so much as to just share him with everyone they meet. And this morning, in this time with ministers and people who work for the Lord, as well as believers, this man of God, this servant of God, I hear in Greek is called doulos. So this our doulos is here with us this morning. And he is going to speak to us about revival Renewal of revival for the latter days ahead of us. Beloved in the Lord, please help me to introduce the convener of GCK Worldwide Ministries, Pastor Dr. W.F. Koyi. Thank you, Amen. Amen. It's a wonderful scene to be in Ghana, in Kumasi, and ministry with fellow ministers and reaching across the globe. And I pray that this time together, 
will be a time of renewal, of revival, of refreshing for everyone in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we thank you.